My name is Paul Eastwood and I'm going to talk to you today about how to lose fat, the real facts, and this is part two. We're on number three here. Keep stress down. Now this is the most difficult part of uh, fat loss because there are so many different types of stress and I've listed them here. And uh, all of these uh, headings could be broken down into subheadings and uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on it today. Um, so that you don't fall asleep. Um, but if we broke all these down, this would be the, the largest reason why people aren't getting the results they want when it comes to losing body fat. And the good thing about having your metabolic type uh, measured is that when I go through these, some of them are going to be easy or some, are, some things you might not understand too much, but there are always things that are easy for you to do and some things that will be very difficult for you to do. You know, taking water, uh, more water on might be a very easy thing, okay? but for someone else it might be something that they find very difficult to do. So the good thing about having your metabolic typing measured is that you don't have to do everything. At least at the end of it you'll know exactly how to make your body drop body fat and what things make it worse. So you can just either start to cut out some of the really bad things or you can start moving towards those healthier things. Okay? So that there's two ways in which you're really going to uh, take that fat off. Because it is, it is used, um, it is either switched on or switched off. And you're going to see now a lot of hormones, which is where uh, it gets complicated because you can't really feel uh, your hormone level change. But it is very, very sensitive, just uh, as the human body is sensitive to water, uh, temperature, acidity, alkalinity, pH balance, um, hormone levels. Okay, uh, And these are all things, obviously, which we measure when we metabolically type you, so it can give you back the right information. But anyway, the first uh, subheading here is food stress. And it's right at the top because you'll hear me say it again and again and again. Food is three to five times a day and that's 21 to 35 times a week. So that's a lot of stress, okay? And you can either put up something into the body that um, is uh, very small in stress or it actually is something that the stresses the body right out. Now, unfortunately, a lot, your body is always telling you in certain ways what's going on, but it's easy to think that you're reacting, when you're reacting to your food, that you're actually really just having a bad day, or that you just got up late, or that you trained too hard, or you're not drinking enough, or your relationships are going crap, or you're financially stressed, or whatever, okay? Um, because there's obviously a link, the nerves that control the brain that run down into the muscles and into the organs uh, can feed back, okay? Um, but uh, it's, it easily gets lost in, the, in today's uh, kind of busy life. So, and I'm not talking about stress, by the way, as in, gosh, I'm having a bad day. Okay, you can, you can be the most successful person in the world, but I'm not talking about mental stress. I'm talking about um, physiological stress that's going on within the body. Such as people that, you know, could be fine mentally, but they have a broken leg or a bad joint problem, or IBS, okay, which is something that's very easily cured with um, metabolic typing. So food stress, two things you can break that down into um, just quickly. Poor nutrients, okay, so the body is actually stressed out because it's not getting what it needs. That is one of the reasons why it leaches um, nu nutrients out of bones and other organs and things when it doesn't actually get what it needs over a long period of time and people start getting some really strange and weird and wonderful diseases and they don't think they're doing too bad, okay. So if you've got some strange things going on and you can't really explain it, just a lack of poor nutrients over a long time because you don't know what you're doing and taking in the wrong ones. Digestive issues though, okay, a lot of IBS, a lot of wheat problems, gluten problems, a lot of uh, stomach problems. Digestion is the first thing to shut down under stress, by the way, okay. Um, it uh, shuts down and blood leaves the stomach to go to the active muscles or to the to other parts of the body that need it, okay, because the body thinks it's, it's, it's getting ready to fight or flight, okay, so. Uh, that's a, a lot, lot of food stress there. Sleep more, okay? One of, the, one of the best ways you can de-stress your body, okay, and get it to relax and to actually burn fat is actually during sleep, okay? Sleep is a very powerful um, uh, feature because you'll die if you don't get enough of it. And actually a lot of the um, really uh, fat burning processes actually occur in your sleep. Okay. Sometimes if you've woken up in a great sweat and things, it's actually because of growth hormone release in your sleep, which is very, very helpful. And growth hormone is only uh, anabolic in the presence of insulin, 
and I'm getting a little crazy here, but um, growth hormone is actually very slimming, okay? And you can release that in your sleep and release that with certain exercises, depending on your body type, uh, that can help you um, lose fat as a fuel source, even though it's a growth hormone. Um, sugar, alcohol, and processed food. Um, just nipping back to sleep again. You can't actually underestimate the amount of uh, power sleep gives you, because if you actually get the right amount, um, your body runs uh, with great reserves and it will use fat as a fuel source. If you remember a, a time where you've actually had very little sleep and you get very hungry, you eat all day, you're relying on adrenaline, cortisol, uh, insulin is sensitive to stress as well. And what will happen is you'll, um, you'll, you'll eat quite a lot and all of it will be stored because your body is stressed out. It's tired and you're forcing it to carry on when it really wants to go and sleep more. Okay.